The big game's coming, y'all, and you're going to that party, you're wondering, what the heck am I gonna take? I recommend you take these dirty nachos. People will go crazy over these, I guarantee it. Hey, stick with me, and I'll show you how I make them. That's some good groceries. All right, so you're probably wondering, what the heck is a dirty nacho, hussy? Well, I'm glad you asked. I like to use these golden crowns. The reason why I like to use the crowns are they are circular and they have a lot of surface patch to go right onto the griddle. Now, if you want to, you can use tater tots, you can use french fries, you can do like a dirty fry. But I thought these crowns will be awesome. First things first, we wanna put a couple tablespoons of oil down. This is an olive oil, avocado oil blend. And we're using probably about three tablespoons here. You want an ample amount. Get that spread around real nice. Now we're gonna add our bag of tater crowns. And what you wanna do is you wanna make sure every one of these crowns have a piece of that griddle. And so we're just gonna feather these out and we're gonna cook these for a couple minutes on this one side. We're gonna flip them and just keep on cooking them till they're cooked through. While we're waiting on our crowns to get done, we're gonna go ahead and season up our ribeyes. This is just a thinly sliced ribeye. Feel free to use whatever beef you want. You could also use ground beef, all kinds of options here. After about three to four minutes, you can see that side got nice and golden brown. That is perfect. I'm gonna slide the tater crowns over here to the left side. I'm gonna get ready to cook our onions, peppers, and steak over here on this side. When I need onions and peppers, and I don't feel like chopping them up, I love using this frozen medley of peppers and onions. Makes it so easy. After the peppers are cooked for about three to four minutes, we're gonna come in with some of this street taco seasoning on them. When your peppers are cooked through, I'm just gonna slide these over to the side. All right, now we're gonna cook our steak. And what I like is we put the onions and peppers right here in the middle, and that's gonna build a nice foundation for our steak. Got our griddle up to probably 450 degrees. Perfect for searing some steak. Notice I'm leaving these whole, and I'm doing that intentionally. Just gonna get those down. Wanna make sure we have a nice contact patch. Maybe just a little bit of oil. Now we're not gonna cook these all the way through, y'all. We're gonna cook these, we're gonna take them off, we're gonna slice it and dice it, and then we're gonna build our dirty nachos. Now season the other side of your steak. After about two minutes on that one side, we're gonna flip our steak over to the other side. Man, look at that crust, perfect. If you notice y'all, I didn't flip it and put it back in the same place. And I did this intentionally so that it's not in the same place where it was, where the temperature might be a little bit cooler from having that piece of steak. So this spot over here was already up to temp. I uh, didn't have anything on it, so I flipped it over to this other side. While our steak's kind of idling over there on that other side, we're gonna flip our tots. It's gonna line up perfectly. These steaks are finishing up here in a minute. We're gonna get them off, get them chopped up, and we're gonna start building these dirty nachos. All right, after about two minutes, I'm gonna take these steaks off. Now I'm gonna bring them over here to our cutting board. Just like that right there. We're gonna let them rest for just a little bit. We're gonna chop these up into nice, small pieces. Now we're gonna cut our ribeye up. And if you notice, I cooked these whole, and you're probably wondering why. Well, it's all about surface area, getting some crust, getting flavor. If you were to cut all these up into nice little small pieces like we're doing here, it wouldn't get a lot of surface area. So I like to leave it whole and cook it, and then slice it up and then cube it up, and you can put it back on the griddle if you like, to maybe crisp it up. If you wanna put some more taco seasoning on it, some more street taco, perfectly fine. Or you can just leave it like this, but it's all about the surface area and getting that flavor. So we're just doing, we're just after really, just little small cubes, just like that. Kinda of like a carne asada. The one reason why I like ribeye is, even if you do kind of overcook it a little bit, it's still just fine and flavorful because it has a lot of fat. All right, we got our ribeye cut up. Now comes the fun part. Let's assemble our old dirty nachos. Gonna take our little crowns. They're cooked perfectly. They're nice and golden brown. Wanna take some of our onions and some of our peppers. 
put those over here. They're nice and caramelized. Come over here with some of our steak. Put that steak on there, the juice and all. Make sure you got plenty of meat, right? Boom. Yeah, buddy. All right, we got our meat, we got our peppers, we got our onions. Now I'm just gonna toss these all together. And this is the dirty part. This is why I call them dirty nachos. All right. Now, we're not done yet, guys. We're not done. Now we're gonna take some cheese. Copious amounts of cheese. This is queso quesadilla cheese. Very, very nice melting cheese. And we're gonna bring plenty of it. Plenty. I'll put about, that's half of that bag. So about eight ounces. Woo, doggies. Look at that. Okay. I'm liking what I'm seeing. Let's come in with a little bit more. A little bit more. Woo wee. Dang it, boy, this looks good. Y'all, I say we're good to go. We are good to go. Now, we got this awesome little handy dandy blackstone cutting board right here. And I'm just gonna come in. Ooh, look at that. And we're just gonna lay these right onto our cutting board. Boy, this thing looks good. Now we gotta church these things up a little bit. That's right, we're gonna put a little bit of greenery in here. A little bit of green onions. We'll do a little bit of this right here. Ooh, make it rain. Yes, sir. We're also gonna do a little bit of post dust right here. A little ode to my old buddy, CJ. A little bit of post dust of this street taco. Don't mind if I do. We're gonna do a little bit of sour cream. A little dollop right there. Can't have nachos without a few pickled jalapenos. Put whatever you like on this. Some, a little bit of black olives, whatever. Do what you will. This is kind of how we roll. Y'all, it's that time. We gotta try these groceries. Let's see what we got. I'm gonna come right here. Give us a try. Oh man. Oh boy, that is a load of stuff. I'm gonna do a little bit of this. A little bit of jalapeno right there. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. A tater. Tater crown is nice and crunchy. It's seasoned already right out of the bag. But man, I can taste that taco seasoning that we put on the peppers and also on that meat. That meat is flavorful too. Mm. Peppers and the onions, so good. Mm. And that cheese, golly boy, that cheese is so good. Y'all, I guarantee you make this for your big game party, people gonna love you. I appreciate you stopping by and giving a look. Hey, head on over to the Blackstone Network where you'll find other awesome videos just like this. I'm Matt Hussey, and that's some good groceries.